lovelies, I hope you're all well. So you can see I've got a canvas in front of me and I've got lots of different ready mixed paints. Uh, these are just standard ready mixed paints and I've also got some makeup sponges. So we are going to make a hot mess canvas today. If you saw my live the other night, you'll know how to do this. But I wanted to show you in an actual tutorial. So this is the one we made the other night in our live. You can see it is super colourful. It's really, really pretty. And that's the great thing about hot mess canvas is you can do it however you... With this one, I made grids of different colours and then I did a splatter effect as well. With this one, I'm going to be using makeup sponges just to put my colour everywhere. And as I say, you can use ready mix paints, you can use acrylic paint, you could even use spray paint if you like, it's completely up to you. You can use makeup sponges, you could do hand prints, you can do fingerprints, you can splatter, you can go in with brush strokes, you can do a pattern. Whatever you want to do, it's completely up to yourself. The main thing is that there are lots of colours in there. Your entire canvas is covered in colour. Once you're happy with it, you're then just going to leave it. This looks an absolute mess. That's the whole point of it. It's meant to look an absolute colourful mess. That is what you want. This is a great project to be able to do with the children. They can have so much fun doing this. So I've got some 651 here and I've cut my design out. This is actually a Halloween Unicorn Witch, which I got from a bundle which is in Design Bundles. I will link to it in the description below. Uh, it's a big bundle, it's about £18 I think it is, uh, but it's got lots of fonts in there, there's lots of images in there, uh, so I actually purchased the bundle, so I will link to that, but you can also purchase this and another image uh, separately, they come as one, so I'll link to that as well. So I want to actually put my image on my canvas. So I'm kind of using it as a stencil, but not, because normally with a stencil, we would actually remove our image. This time we're weeding as we normally would, and we're going to place our image onto our colored canvas. So I'm just gonna come in and weed as I would usually. I'm going to use paper transfer tape today just because my paint hasn't been drying for over 48 hours. Normally, if it's over 48 hours, then I'll use normal transfer tape. But if it's less than that, I like to use the paper stuff. I get this from GM Crafts. Again, I will link to it in the description below. I'm just going to come in and place it down. I'm going to scrape from the front. And as always, scrape from the back. I can then come in and remove my backing. Now obviously with a canvas, the middle is missing. And when you put pressure on this, it dips slightly. So I've just got some upholstery foam here, which I've made into a kind of homemade pressing pillow. I'm just gonna place that inside. And that will then stop my canvas from dipping. Once I'm happy with the placement, I can then go in with my scraper. Now you want to give it a really good scrape. Vinyl onto canvas can be a little bit tricky at the best of times. Then when you add paint into the mix, it can be a little bit trying, but we're going to try nonetheless, just with a straight pull. As suspected, that is not going to work. 
So a really good tip, if you get your scraper and you actually bring your transfer tape over and you just gently start pulling back and you will find it does help dramatically. You still want to take your time with it, you don't want to rush it and there will be times when it's not straightforward but just take your time and you will get there and this technique really does help a lot we've got a little bit of a tricky one there there we go you then want to go back in with your scraper and just really really work that vinyl make sure that it's nice and adhered we do not want any gaps because we don't want any seepage in a minute so you really want to make sure that that vinyl is nice and adhered to your canvas if you're worried about going in with your scraper you can use a fabric brayer a non-stick roller or you can put some felt over your scraper so next we want to completely paint our canvas in one colour. Now this could be white, it could be black, it could be green, it can be whatever colour you want it to be. But you need to cover your entire canvas in that colour. The point is, is that you want to hide your paint underneath, you do not want to be able to see it. Again, you can use any paint, so you can use poster paint, you can use ready mix paint, you can use acrylic paint, you can use spray paint. I'm going to use spray paint today because I just find that nice and easy. So this is the spray paint that I use, I get it from Amazon, it's about £5 a can uh, which is better than the local DIY store um, and it's actually graffiti paint so it's really really good stuff, it goes a long way, the coverage is great, there is lots and lots of colours which I really really like and it's outdoor suitable as well. Now I'm going to do it in black today because it is a Halloween canvas so that will go perfect. So after I've spray painted it or painted it, whatever I'm going to do, I like to leave it just for sort of five minutes. So it's not dry, but it's not, you know, soaking wet either. Um, bits of it you can touch, but bits of it are still wet, which is what you want. You don't want it completely wet, but you don't want it completely dry either. So we're then going to come in and we're just going to start removing the vinyl. And you'll then see your beautiful colour underneath. 